Hello there, my beautiful Scorpios, and welcome to your October Love Tarot reading with me, Miss Machiste. Scorpio, we are looking into the first half of October, what's going on in your love life, and what will be coming your way next. Please keep in mind that time is fluid, and do not forget to check your other chart placements on my channel. Scorpio, stick around towards the end of the reading. I will be getting each zodiac sign's feelings for you. So, Spirit for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, what's going on in their love lives for the first half of October and what will be coming their way next? Scorpio, remember to take what resonates, leave what does not. Please remember, some of you, this reading may resonate backwards, reversed, flipped. So, here we go, Scorpio. First card out is we have well deserved reward. The Nine of Pentacles. We also have Seek the Truth, the Seven of Swords. Earth energy, air energy. We have the Seven of Cups, water energy, daydreams and decisions. We have new vitality, the Ace of Wands, fire energy. We also have spread your wings, the Two of Wands more fire energy and we have embrace this is the world fix sign energy that is your energy scorpio all right i feel something right away here if you are in a relationship i feel like there was a lot of trust issues here i feel like possibly with the seven of swords something did come out in the past or there are just trust issues between the two of you I don't know what has specifically sparked this, but it looks like you two are closing out the cycle of trust issues, confusion, uncertainty, and disingenuine energy. So I definitely do feel like if you are in a relationship, Scorpio, you and your person are choosing the new path ahead, closing out this very, very difficult cycle of either not trusting one another or fearing um, deception from the other person or actually having deception in this connection there's definitely a huge closeout of that and a huge energy of turning away from it so Scorpio could have been you could have been them but there's definitely an energy of somebody deciding to move away from deception or move away from the fear of deception so the player or deceiver maybe making the decision to decide to not do that anymore, close out that cycle. Ace of Wands really respark the connection on a happy, uplifted, playful, you know, nice energy. Because they, they don't want to be a player no more, it looks like. So I don't know if some of you Scorpios turned the player into a loyal person, but that kind of looks like what it is. Some of you, this is vice versa. You turned a Scorpio player into a loyal person, but I definitely feel like they was like acting single or they had like these little single tendencies and now they're like, no, I'm going to settle down here because I don't want my Scorpio or whatever the case may be here to not trust me or I don't want to be untruthful any longer. So let's clarify this here and see what's going on. Spear for Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Scorpio in love for the first half of October for Scorpio. Some of you Scorpios, you may actually turn away from somebody who is a liar, cheater, stealer for someone new. So Spirit for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, please clarify this for Scorpio. All right, on the Nine of Pentacles, we have the Fool, Seven of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Knight of Swords, Two of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, The World, The Seven of Wands. Yeah, there has been a very large struggle between you and this person. So if you are in a relationship, I feel like you two have been like stable towards one another, but then like not really. It's been like very much all over the place. I feel like you two have been very defensive towards one another. I feel like somebody has been really not trusting the other person, whether they had a reason to or not. I definitely feel like whoever did wrong here, if wrong was done, they are definitely wanting to cut out that side of themselves. 
with the Knight of Swords here. They definitely are coming in with very fast-paced communication, telling you, Scorpio, I want to have this new beginning with you. The Nine of Pentacles to the Fool. This person is ready to jump away from their single life or their single tendencies. The Nine of Pentacles would be that single person in the deck or that person who feels just very self-assured, self-independent. But with the Fool here, it's like this person is like, all right, I'm going to really take a risk here now. And I feel like either they were deceptive, untruthful, or avoiding taking the risk, which may have created an energy of deception. So either there was actually something that happened here or this person avoiding really starting this relationship with you was causing an energy of a deception where it's kind of like, why are you avoiding it? Like what... What else are you doing? What else is more important to you? But with the Ace of Pentacles here now, they want stability, they want commitment, and they really do want to have this bond with you where it is strong, it is strengthened, and it's real, and you can rely on this person. Seven of Wands, they have been very, very defensive towards you for quite some time, or maybe you have been very defensive towards them, but I feel like there is a very strong energy of somebody putting down their guard and putting down their player ways... And really saying, all right, this is who I want. This is really what I want to do. So let's clarify this bottom row here for Scorpio. Clarify this bottom row for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the first half of October. So we have the Knight of Swords with the Knight of Wands. We have the Ace of Pentacles with the Five of Wands. And we have the Seven of Wands with the Five of Pentacles. Yeah. All right. This is what I see here. This is what I see here. I don't know who messed up. But in terms of relationship, there was drama. There was drama. There was other people energy involved. Or there was drama around other people and energy involved. Whoever the player is here is fighting for their life. They are fighting for their life. They're like, no, don't let me go. Do not, seven of wands, five of pentacles, do not abandon me. I'm sorry, I will change. Please do not abandon me. So somebody is really in fighter position here in making this relationship work after messing things up to an extent, whether royally messed it up or just in a little bit of a way. Let's clarify this spirit for Scorpio, the bottom row for Scorpio. And that's why I said Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands, cutting out the player ways. So let's clarify the bottom row. We have the Knight of Wands here with death. There you go. Putting an end to it, transforming it. Five of Wands here with the Queen of Cups and the Five of Pentacles with the Hanged Man. Oh my gosh, yeah. So I feel like whoever was the deceptor here, the deceiver they are fighting for their life. They really are. They're like, don't let me go. Don't let me go. I love you. I care for you. They definitely may try to throw in a little bit of emotional, uh, emotional, like, it could be like love bombing, but it also could be like emotional, like, don't leave me. I need you. You're the only person I want in my life. Like that kind of thing. So I don't know what you did, but you changed a player or vice versa. Somebody has changed you. All right, let's clarify the bottom row. They don't, they like don't want to be let go of. They will fight. They will do anything. Clarify the bottom row for Scorpio. We have the six of wands. We have the three of cups and we have the nine of swords. Wow. All right, so honestly, the decept the the person who deceived is definitely going to be fighting for this connection. They want to reunite. They want to have happy energy. They want you to trust them, but I feel like you're definitely um making this person work for it. And it's definitely causing them stress, but I feel like you're only making them work for it because of how much stress they cause you. Because I feel like you have anxiety about taking a risk on this person again. Let's clarify the bottom rows for Scorpio again, Spirit. King of Swords, 
Seven of Cups, Eight of Wands. Yeah, I think the attraction is still here. The love is still here. The connection is still strong. So I honestly do feel like this person's going to be fighting for you or vice versa. There's definitely a fight being put up on don't leave me or don't let this go. I'm sorry, I'll change. I definitely feel like the player is changing here. So it's either you or them. I don't feel which way it is, honestly. I feel like it could be either of you. But whoever messed up here created a sense of an emotional roller coaster for the other person. And that's why they're also feeling anxious. Like, I don't know if I want to give them another chance. I don't know if I really do trust them that they're going to change. So that's what I got there for you, Scorpio. Pretty interesting energy there. Definitely somebody fighting for you to not let them go and really have this fresh start with you. So... Let's see what your oracle has here, Spirit, for Scorpio. I kind of get the feeling they're obsessed with you. The devil didn't come out, but I do feel a sense of obsession. Um, Spirit for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Scorpio. All right, we have Mute. We have Numbing. And we have Purge. Yeah, so whoever was hurt here is definitely like trying to avoid the pain trying not to feel it, not really saying much to the other person, not really giving much. Um, Spirit, please clarify this for Scorpio. For the first half of um, October for Scorpio. All right, so on mute, we have offer. On numbing, we have compromise and purge. We have forgiveness. Yeah, they're sorry. They want to make things right with you. You emotionally turning off definitely scared the crap out of them. I feel like this person is, there you are, apologetic, offering you things. I don't know what you did, Scorpio, but you made the player fall in love. That's what I think. I think the player caught feelings, or whomever is that, and that's that. So let's see, Scorpio, all the way from Aries to Pisces. I need each zodiac sign's feelings for Scorpio. All the way from Aries to Pisces, I need each zodiac sign's feelings for Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, Aries feelings for you, five of pentacles. So Aries feels very left out from you. You could have left an Aries out because of what they did to you or you're just neglecting their energy right now. But Aries definitely feels abandoned and or alone from your energy. If you are still connected to an Aries, they may just be going through some sort of financial loss. Taurus feelings for you are the Queen of Pentacles. So Taurus feels a very large sense of comfort with you. They want commitment. They want stability. And they want to feel really good in your energy. So Taurus definitely wants to have something stable with you there. Scorpio. Gemini's feelings for you, King of Wands. Extreme attraction here from Gemini. They are interested in pursuing you, nurturing this connection, and seeing it grow. Definitely could be getting physically intimate with a Gemini. The passion between the two of you is definitely very strong. Next we have is Cancer's feelings for you as the Fool. So Cancer does want to have a new beginning with you. Um, Cancer does want to take a risk on this relationship, and they definitely do feel like you two can have a very good time together. Um, some of you at Cancer may just be wanting to start over. We have Leo's feelings for you as the High Priestess. So Leo is pulled back from your energy. They are trying to use their intuition as best as possible. So you could be dealing with a Leo who feels very withdrawn or you just feel very disconnected from your Leo. Some of you, Leo views you as being withdrawn, but obviously you would know if you are. Next we have is Virgo's feelings for you as the five of wands. So Virgo does feel conflict and challenge in this connection right now. Could be fighting a lot with a Virgo or Virgo is one of these energies that cause challenge for you. But Virgo does very much feel very challenged here. They could be jealous or they could just be in an energy of argumentative vibes um libra's feelings for you scorpio are the emperor so libra is definitely trying to have control of this connection um you could be dealing with somebody who is a bit controlling or just very much wanting things to go their way but i do feel like libra is mature they are wise um and they are stable for you they definitely may view you as their divine counterpart but they could come in a bit controlling next we have is 
Scorpio's feelings for you, Scorpio, Knight of Pentacles. So Scorpio does feel like they can have stability with you. Scorpio is definitely trying to trust in the process of things. You are Scorpio, so take this way you want. But I do feel like Scorpio may feel like you're a bit slow with your offers. There's definitely an energy here of trying to trust in the process and be patient. Next we have is Sagittarius feelings for you, Knight of Swords. Fast-paced communication coming from a Sagittarius. If you have not heard from one, you definitely may hear from one. If not, you and your Sagittarius may have been arguing a lot in terms of words, harsh words towards one another. And for others of you, you're just going to be talking more with your Sag. Capricorn's feelings for you are the Knight of Wands. So if you're dealing with an in and out Capricorn, they may be coming back in. If you're dealing with a player Capricorn, they may be trying to be better. But I definitely do feel like there's a lot of passion here between you and Capricorn. Um, you could be dealing with a little bit of an inconsistent one, though. Um, Aquarius feelings for you are the lovers. So Aquarius definitely wants to reunite with you or have this coming together energetically. If you two have kind of disconnected emotionally or mentally, Aquarius definitely wants you two to reconnect. Some of you, um, Aquarius definitely wants to reunite with you from the past, or you could just mean, be meeting a new soulmate aqua energy. And lastly, Pisces feelings for you, Scorpio, are the eight of swords. So Pisces is really in their head about you right now, thinking about worst case scenario. You may have hurt a Pisces and put them in their head, or they're just in their head because of their past trauma. But Pisces is really in their head about this connection here, definitely overthinking like crazy. And that's what I have here for you, Scorpio, for the first half of October. Let's make sure everyone's out. All right, Scorpio, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Um, happy birthday, happy early birthday to my Scorpio sons out there. Wishing you a blessed, abundant, peaceful birthday season with many, many years to come. So thank you, my beautiful Scorpios. I'll see and talk to all of y'all very soon. Bye now.